Many are familiar with Heidegger's concept of Dasein. However, it may be useful to consider the related and foundational concept of the presence at hand, which Heidegger scopes and distinguishes from the concept of the readiness to hand. Both presence at hand and readiness to hand are bound up together, but both are useful in clarifying what Heidegger calls the phenomenon of the world, whatever that means. Imagine for the moment you were stranded on an island. Maybe the flight you were on crashed. Maybe the ship you were on was destroyed for some reason. In any case, you find yourself the main character of Castaway. You might even find a Wilson if you're lucky. Fresh water is bountiful, and you have no problem quenching your thirst. But a few days pass and you're getting hungry. You drag yourself to the beach in search for food. And it so happens that you chance across a can of sardines. This is the sort of can that could only be pried open with a can opener. Alice, you didn't bring a can opener. You have a bunch of sharp sticks which you had prepared in the hopes of spearing some fish. Unfortunately, they don't seem quite fit for the job of cleanly and precisely opening the can. The missing can opener is what Heidegger calls unready to hand. That which is ready to hand, which is the can of sardines, or the sharp spears you consider unfit for the job. These enter the mode of obtrusiveness. You urgently need the can opener. You yearn for it, but it stays stubbornly missing. So the bunch of sharp sticks and can of sardines, correspondingly, seem to lose their character of readiness to hand. Heidegger says they are reviewed as something just present at hand and no more. Let's say, however, that you did have a can opener. It was hidden in your underwear all along. Alice, it still does not serve the purpose because it has become somehow damaged. By discovering its unusability and the unusability of the sharp sticks for the purpose of opening the can of sardines, the equipment becomes conspicuous, just lying there. In Heidegger's language, the unusable equipment has a certain unreadiness to hand. And in just lying there, it announces its presence at hand. Now finally, let's say there was a completely usable can opener lying on the beach next to the can of sardines. How unfortunate then that somehow this can opener is encased in a small box made of tempered glass. There's no way you can get to the can opener now. The box of tempered glass we call obstinate. And it is experienced as an obstacle to the achievement of some purpose. Here, to get the can opener to open our can of sardines. The box of tempered glass is thus unready to hand, and in this deficient mode of experiencing it, the box's presence at hand is revealed. These are the three ways in which presence at hand can reveal itself. Of course, in all these cases, the readiness to hand of what is present at hand remains. After all, one could think of skewering the can with a stick. Perhaps they can still be used for something. Well, perhaps. It seems the stranded man could make do with fish for now.